Okay, welcome back to another episode with Back Home with Sue. Tonight, we are having a pot roast in the foodie. So, I'm going to film it tonight. So this is a four pound pot roast. Slap that there. Let's see, do I want to cut that fat off? You know what, I'm going to cut that fat off. And you can leave it on if you have one with on. I just prefer to cut it off. But we're going to leave a little bit. All right, we'll leave that. Do I want to let yeah, cut a little bit more of that off? preference. You can leave it on if you want. Okay. We'll leave the rest of it on. Slide that back over there. Rinse my hands again. Lots of hand washing, lots of hand washing, right? Okay, in a separate bowl. Can you still see? Let's drag you over here a little bit. In a bowl, we're going to add roughly about a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. So we're just going to use a regular tablespoon, not a tape, actually a regular teaspoon. We're going to put a teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of seasoned salt, not seasoning. I'm going to spice things up a little bit. I'm going to put three quarters of a teaspoon of Cajun seasoning, uh, about three quarters of black pepper, Teaspoon, uh, no, about a quarter teaspoon of onion powder. We're just, we're just eyeballing this, this. This is not exact measurements. Another quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm going to come over here and just grab my whisk. Grab a plate. Put a mixture there. Take our roast and start coating it. What this is going to do, it's going to have help all the seasoning stick to it and seeing that we're cooking in the foodie there's going to be some brief beef broth in there and that's going to help thicken it up a little bit and you, you are going to have some extra seasoning powder left over okay make sure it's coated well on every side okay so i have the foodie over here hopefully you can see everything okay now make sure your foodie's plugged in hit the power button so what you want to do is hit the sear saute button and hit the start button and we're gonna let this preheat for about five minutes so so it's really hot okay our foodie has been preheating for five minutes or so so I'm gonna dump some oil in there okay let's see if I can do this without burning myself or burning the camera or you so we're gonna take our meat and we're gonna throw that in there not quite hot enough but we're gonna let that sit there and what we're gonna do we're gonna brown all the sides so that's gonna take a few minutes to brown on that side about maybe three to four minutes on each side will go so we'll be back when it's time to flip okay so I, I set a timer for the roast to be flipped so that was four minutes so we're gonna do another side flip you. all right I'm gonna put you down for a second because I need another hand all right, let's flip this puppy over. Seriously, slick. There we go. Okay, so that was a four minute sear on that side. So like I said, we're gonna do four minutes on each side and I don't have to keep coming back and checking out. But uh, we'll be back when we put the broth in. Okay, because I'm going out of my mind and I'm trying to rush and do everything, I have two cups of beef broth here. I added five cloves of garlic in case I did not hit that record button. I thought I did, but I don't guess I didn't. I don't know. But there's one onion in here too, peeled. So take our beef broth and garlic and onion. Slowly, sorry, slowly pour it into the foodie. Okay, pour everything in. Just give this a quick stir. Take your onions, bring them over here. Just, you know, separate them up a little bit. Now, see a nice crust on that. So what we're going to do, we're just gonna hit the stop on that. I always hit the power button off on the foodie as I'm going different cycles. Okay, so now I have my cover for the pressure cooker. Line up your arrows. Once you line that up, that's a quick little turn. Now, turn your foodie back on, and we're going to hit the pressure button. We're on high. We're going to go for one hour and 30 minutes. One hour and 30 minutes, and we're going to hit that start button. Come back up here. Make sure you're on 
seal. It doesn't really seem like that. I know it doesn't, right? But it is. It's on seal. So we're going to let that do its thing. So about, it's going to be like an hour and 40 minutes or so. Probably more. I don't know. But yeah, we're going to let that cook and we'll be back. And then we're going to add carrots and... Oh, shit, I just lost my train of thought. We're going to add carrots and cabbage once that roast is done. So we'll be back in a bit. Bye. Okay, so while the roast is still cooking in the pressure cooker, we're going to prep our vegetables here. Right now I'm going to be peeling one, two, three, four carrots and cutting up some cabbage. So we all know how to peel our carrots. You've seen me do this plenty of times. So I'm going to be adding straight forward over this. So I'm going to save my battery and hit that pause button. Okay, carrots are peeled. Cut your ends off. And what I'm going to do is just cut these right in half. Cut the thick sides in half. Put them in the bowl. Now onto the cabbage. Let's take the plastic wrap off. Give this a quick rinse. Now I always take the outer leaves off. Take this core out. Let me get a manageable knife here. Now I like the cabbage in with the the uh, pot roast. Well, only because when I did it with the um, corned beef and then the beef broth came out really good. All right. Get that out of there. Cut it in fours. And four. All right, so our vegetables are prepped, ready to go for the foodie, right? Now, I'm going to be prepping up some potatoes for mashed potatoes. My kids don't like the potatoes in the foodie. They rather have garlic mashed. So that's what I'll be making with that tonight. So we'll be back. Okay, so this was done about three minutes ago, and I did the quick release on it. So um, this is almost ready to get done. So to, to recap, this was cooking for one hour and 30 minutes, and took about, I don't know, almost 10 minutes to come up to pressure. And then uh, we'll say four minutes to, uh, yep, stem just went down. So three minutes and 50 seconds or so. Take the cover off. Alrighty, take that out. I'm going to take the meat out. That looks really good. All right, we're going to put it on the plate for now, and then we're going to cover that with aluminum foil. Before I do that, I'm just going to take my let's see, er, take my vegetables here. I'm just going to plop those right on in the broth. A little sneak peek. Put those in the liquid. Grab the lid one more time. I kept it on warm to keep everything warm in there. Okay, now we're going to lock that back up. And we're going to stop that. So we're going to go to pressure. Well, all right, let's cancel that. Turn it back on. Pressure on high. Three minutes start, and it's going to build pressure back up again. Make sure we're on seal. And we're going to let that come back up to pressure and let that cook for three minutes. And we'll be uh, back and plate it up when you see me again. But I'm going to put the aluminum foil on this to let this rest for a little bit. Be back in a few. Okay, there it is. Let's give it a bite. Mm. Good stuff. And the sauce is great. Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna have a quick bite of the cabbage too. Just a small one. Hold on. Yep. Good stuff. All right. So this is tonight's dinner, and. Uh, you have all the time in the world if you're home, if you're working, stay safe. If you're new to my channel, please give me a like, subscribe, um, hit the bell notification, and uh, 
again, stay safe, everybody. Be well.